Hey, what's up guys? Since it's almost Halloween, I thought it'd be fun to do some bobblehead edits and to help me with today's photos are my friends. So for this edit, I wanted to have my friends do things that we would do when we were kids, which is why we ended up shooting at the playground. I noticed when you add the bobblehead effect, it adds a childhood theme to your photos, which is why we doubled down by having my friends do activities that we would do as kids. This is why I had my friends jump over the fence because as kids, we're always getting into trouble and I just thought it'd be the perfect picture to capture that. So once Photoshop is open, what you guys want to do is select the quick selection tool and make sure it's not on the magic wand tool. Once you guys have the quick selection tool, what you guys want to do next is select the subject's head. And I'm going to zoom in and do a better job of selecting the areas that were left out. Once you finish selecting the head, the next thing you guys want to do is click Command J and then Photoshop will make a new layer with the selection we just made. Next click Command T and now we're going to be able to make the head bigger by dragging one of these corners up. Once you have the size that you want, the next thing you guys want to do is center the head where the old head was. And in case there's certain areas of the head that you guys want to hide, you guys can create a layer mask and then make sure you guys select the brush and make sure you're on the black brush. And then you guys can start brushing over those areas to hide them. And I also suggest using a softer brush in order to make smoother adjustments. So what I'm doing is cleaning up the areas where I feel that the selection looks a little bit edgy. So now what I'm going to do is select the background layer again and then continue the same process but this time to my other friend's head. So with my friend Brandon, I did have a little bit more trouble getting a clean selection and when I made the layer mask, what I ended up doing is hiding these little portions that were showing from the sky and then I also cleaned up the neck area. This is why I really like the layer mask tool because it allows you to clean up your selection and hide certain portions that you guys don't want to show anymore. And you can use the white brush in case there's some portions that you guys want to unhide. I continue to clean up the selection and then there you have it, here's the final edit. That's it for today's video guys and what's really sick is that I recently saw Darren Till post this effect as well which is really sick. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one, alright, peace.